Facts. Yo, so here's the deal. This whole Epstein, Epstein thing, him killing himself, offing himself. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. It's interesting because when I was looking at one of the news clips, um, basically the victims um, are saying they're mad and disappointed that they're not going to get closure. And, you know, there's no justice. And I know he, and we all know uh, the human trafficking he was doing and the, under, the prostitution with the underage girls, and, which is all horrible and very bad. Um, bad meaning non-progressive and, and just um, it's a little sick. Um, it's not a lot sick. I believe he has the justice now. I, I think it's very weird that um, people are mad that he doesn't have any justice or saying that he's not going to get justice because what's after life? If you believe in something, most people do. I mean, you're going to have the worst justice that the world has never seen. You know? Um, this is the type of justice of, of... It seems like it would be uh, the death penalty for the highest form of justice because, well, I mean, what's, what's after that? Torture? You know, the, that's nothing that we see on a daily basis or um, we see people submitted to for um, treatment for mistreating others. Um, it would be death, you know, sticking a needle in you, going to the other side. So some would say this is equivalent to murder in the form of um, the, the, the gravity of the damage that's been done. So if he killed himself or if he got killed or whatever, he kind of has been served the highest form of justice, you know, that the justice system can even offer. He just made it easier for everybody else. So there's no closure that's going to come from him still being alive and picking his brain on why, of how much, uh, of why he's so sick. You know, there's, no, there's nothing that comes from that. Like, you, if somebody hurts me, and I don't want, I don't like that. I'm either gonna, I, I'm either gonna uh, retaliate, or I'm gonna get the fuck away from them. I don't want to be around somebody that hurts me. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but now they're going after his estate. So you want to go after his estate, so he can stay. It doesn't. That has nothing to do with the victims. It's, it's not a. It, it seems like it's past an ethical thing, and it's now like a, like it's monetary. You know, is it the money? Or is it like the money was just part of the closure? Like, what is going on, really? I don't get it. Logically, what kind of closure are you going to get from this? It's like, if anything, you would get more tragedy. And you would get, you would get PTSD from something like this, reactivating these neural pathways in your brain of trauma and, and having no, no uh, remedy for this. You know, it's not, it's, not, it's not the actions themselves. It's not the memories, you know, that, that hurt. It's how we store the memories that hurts. If we haven't grown past it, then it's just going to continue to, to stab us on the inside. And when he got his justice or whatever it was going to be, it would still feel bad until you dealt with it, you know? It doesn't matter what, what the situation is or was. It's, we, for humans, we can only process things so many ways, and it's not hard to figure out the best ways for all of us, no matter what we've dealt with. So, on top of that, I, I think that if you really, really want some closure or some kind of something that makes sense, I think you should go for the people around him. I mean, think about it. His friends were Bush and Clinton. He has a whole sex trafficking ring, right? And, some, and, and, and Clinton, I don't know about Bush, but I know Clinton and, and several other politicians have been accused for participating in this kind of lifestyle, the sex trafficking with underage girls. And it's, not, it's a regular thing, right? It's a re but we don't always hear about it, but it happens all the time. They knew it was happening. You know why? 
You know what your friends are doing. I know which ones of my friends are, are drug dealers, if, if I had any. I know what my friends are, are out doing what, how they're making money and certain I don't know everything they do. I know, come on, we're friends, we're homies. Fucking Clinton, fucking Bush knows if Epstein has a whole sex trafficking ring. Like, it's, it's huge. That's your, those are your friends. Like, what are you doing today? Oh, nothing. I didn't see you all week. What were you doing? Nothing? No, I was running a, a fucking illegal operation the whole time, fucker. You know that. So they knew what was going on. And they've been accused for things that he's been caught for. So bringing some kind of justice would be going for the other people that may be responsible for this, these things happening. That would be justice. How about we stop repealing the scab of, of the damage and we fucking go to the source of where it's coming from and kill it? How about that? That sounds good to me. Because it's not going to stop until we do. These things don't need to be happening in the world. But they're going to continue to happen because we keep allowing it to happen. Because we're using our personal trauma, our personal stories, our, 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 to, to, to want to get answers for shit that doesn't matter when we should just be killing the thing that's causing the problem. If you're in a room with a fucking poisonous cobra, or are you, are you going to fucking try to kill it? Are you going to try to reason with it? I'm going to chop his motherfucking head off. That's it. You want to live or you want to die? One of the two. You can't have both. Well, I guess you can. Because you live and then you die. But I don't believe in death. So that's a whole other story for me. But, um, yeah. Got to get down to the solution. Make these things not repeat themselves and stop this, this energy of... Uh, going into our families and future generations to come. Neutralize all of it. Make it to where this isn't a thing anymore. And it's, not, it's not a thing to worry about. It's not a sickness to be developed. But yeah, that's how I feel about the Epstein shit. He's dead. Fuck that nigga.